What's up guys, Brian here down in the Gecko Lab bringing you another product review video today. This time we're going over the Exoterra Monsoon Multi. All right guys, before we get into this unboxing, I gotta share this with you because I thought it was too funny. I'm wearing this Echo Unlimited shirt. My mom got me this for my birthday. Guys, my mom is so sweet. She's so cute. I'm 33 years old. She still sends me a big box of birthday stuff every year. And I guarantee you guys, my mom was in Ross and saw this shirt on clearance and got it for me because she thought it said Gecko's Unlimited on it. I am positive that's what happened. But my mom is so sweet. I love her so much. It was, I just thought it was hilarious. I'm sure she thought this was a Gecko's Unlimited shirt and she saw it and went, oh, I gotta get this for Brian. Absolutely hilarious. My mom's the best. So a quick overview, this is the Exoterra Monsu Multi System, like I said. What this is, is an automatic high pressure misting system. You set it up, it runs on a timer, and it will come on however long, however often and for however long you decide to automatically spray your gecko or animal cages for you. Now this is the Monsoon Multi. So this one comes with the accessories and tubing and hookups and nozzles to run two cages at once. It'll spray into two cages and you can expand this up to six cages. So this one system will automatically water up to six cages for you. This can be super convenient for people that have a lot of animals or if you're planning on going on vacation or you travel sometimes, this can make sure your animals always have water. They're always humid. They're really convenient. I'm going on vacation soon, so I got one of these. I'm going to do a review of it, and then I'm going to set it up for my new day geckos that I just picked up to see how it works while I'm on my next vacation. First things first, let's bust this box open and see what's inside. All right, let's check this guy out. I just bought this one on Amazon. It came within two-day shipping. You all know how Amazon works these days. Fairly simple in the box. Everything's wrapped in plastic wrap here. Let's take a look. This is going to be the top part. So this has your timer functions built in as long as your nozzle where the cord is going to come out. Looks like your power cords in the back look like all the electronic moving parts are in the lid there. Here we have the tubing. Now this is just a normal polyurethane tubing similar to what you'd use for a swamp cooler or like your refrigerator sometimes the line that runs water to your refrigerator. It's a bit thinner than that but it's the same basic type of thing. This one comes with some suction cups and then these are your nozzles that will spray directly into your cages and then here you can see the splitter where it splits your one line into two. Like I said you can buy additional accessories and have this split up to six cages. What else do we have in here? Looks like the power cord. And this is the basin that holds your water for misting. So this is a two gallon basin. This misting system will hold two gallons of water. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. That is gonna be something I'll have to figure out as I use this. I'm sure obviously the more cages you have, the less amount of time you're gonna have before you run out of water but two gallons, I suspect, will go quite a long ways. Even if you run this out to six cages, I would expect two gallons could get you at least a week if you set it to the right misting, to, you know, once in the morning, once in the evening, something like that. We'll have to play with it and find out. A couple extra suction cups here. I assume these would be to attach the hose to the outside of the cage, as this one is gonna be to hold it to the inside for it to mist. And then you've got your instruction manual and a couple more pieces here. I don't know what these do. This is going to be what goes down inside your reservoir. All right, let's uh, look at the instructions, set this guy up and see how it works. So I've got these two cages here with me today that I'm going to use as our test cages for testing this system. Now these are Exoterra cages that are made to go with the Exoterra Monsoon system. However, you can use a system with virtually any kind of cage most of the time without any modifications, depending on what kind of tank or cage you're using. Uh, sometimes you'll need slight modifications, but regardless, it's pretty easy to set up no matter what kind of cage you're using. However, on these Exoterra tanks, you'll notice on the top, they've got this slider. And when you slide it open, there's these three holes that appear. That's made so you can slide it shut and smaller geckos or babies can't climb out. But if you need to use one or more of these holes, for power cords, for heating elements, or any sort of thing, including the tubing for this misting system, you can feed that through those holes and then slide the slider back shut so all the other holes are covered. So 
Let's get into setting this guy up. I very briefly glanced at the instructions, but I have never used one of these. So we are going to be learning together how to do this. I'm going to get the zip ties off. There we go. Okay. So these are your nozzles. Oh, they give you lots of... Oh, look, it even comes already hooked up. So these come with a quick connect feature that... Look at that. So this is really easy. It's got this blue piece and you pull this blue piece back, slide the hose in there, and then it is connected. And those are not going anywhere. That is awesome. So for now, I'm going to disconnect those and we'll set the back end of the tubing there. And so what you want to do is open up your cages, which means unfortunately, Miss Gecko, this is Spirit, is this girl's name. You gotta get off the roof. All right. Now, this could be one potential downside of these is a lot of suction cups don't work very well and these are suction cup based, but I'm hoping these are decent suction cups. So basically, you just suction cup this to the inside of your cage and that hose fits right into the nozzle there. And these nozzles, look, you can move them around and point them wherever you want. We'll point it right there. The hose goes right into the gap. And then as you open that up, Put your lid back on, close your slider down, and that is perfect. That's very easy. Like I said, you can make this work with just about any brand or style of cage. However, with these exoteric cages that they're made to go with, this is quite simple. Watch your head there, sweetheart. Perfect. All right. All right, well, that part of the installation was incredibly easy. I like that. So then you take these two ends, you go to your Y connector, and you just push them in there until they lock with the blue ring there. And as you can see, those are not coming out. I really like that system where those lock in. That is super, super easy to set up. Next. Do, 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 do. What is this? Oh, look at that. It's got a fill hole with a little filter built in. So when you're pouring your water in, if anything falls in, you don't get pieces of dirt in your water that will clog up your pump, which I really like because that's one thing I noticed that I didn't like is this lid. You can see this tiny little groove around here. That makes it very hard to fit the edges of the tank into that groove. And I thought, wow, this is going to be a pain to fill. But you don't fill it by taking the whole lid off. You fill it by opening that little hatch, which makes a lot of sense because if you take the whole lid off, all your hoses and your power cord and everything are going to be really hard to deal with. But for the first time, I've got this big bucket of water. So I'm just going to pour this right on in there. Perfect, and then you just fit this lid around. I'm gonna turn it so I can see the controls. Oh, I missed a step. I done missed a step. So what you need to do is you take the feeder end of your tube, and this again has a filter on the end, so if there are any particles in your water, they will not get sucked up and break your pump. There's a small nozzle on the lid here and you just gently work one end of your clear feeder hose onto the nozzle. Perfect. Okay, now we are going to fit this guy back on here. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna take my power cord. Let's unwrap this guy. That's a good, decent length of power cord. That's always a concern of mine when they give you some short little three foot power cord that you can't reach any plugs with. This guy plugs perfectly right into the back there. I will reach down here, plug this bad boy in. And we should, we should be good to go. It's making noise already. Okay. Let's see if we can't test this out. 
plug that in. This has the same kind of connection as this Y fitting did. We plug that in, hit the on button. I'm sure it will take a minute to prime. I can feel the hose vibrating. Maybe, look at that. This one is misting. This one is not. Is this one pinched or kinked? I do not know. Oh, there it goes. It just had to work all the air out. Look at that, perfect. That is really simple. That is easy, easy to set up. The hoses are super easy to connect. Go ahead and hit the on button again. Hope the circle button next to it shuts it off. Look at that. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So I'll have to read the directions for how to do the cycles, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. There's five buttons on here, on, off, which is just a zero for some reason, instead of saying off, there's a button uh, labeled cycle that turn, I assume turns the cycle on and off. The cycle button, I'm going to assume that is how often, there's T1 through 24, so I'm going to assume that's how often you would like your sprayer to be active, and then duration, two through 120, I'm assuming that is for how long it will spray. For example, if I turn it to cycle four, duration four, every four hours it will spray four minutes of water into the cage. This is so simple. All right, so reading through the instruction manual, I misspoke just a second ago. The duration is not minutes. As I said it, I went, that sounds crazy to have a spray for four minutes. That is seconds two through 120. So it'll spray from two seconds to two minutes of water. And I think probably around 20 seconds for a lot of cages is gonna be plenty, but you can play with your cage and set it to spray for as long a period as you would like. And then again, you can set it to go off every one through every 24 hours. I would probably set it at 12 and have it go off twice a day for most of my geckos. I really like this system, you guys. Um, so. Two things that I don't like about the system so far are uh, the suction cups that I am not just not sold that that's going to hold the spray nozzles in place very well because suction cups inevitably fail. It happens every time I've ever used one. And the other thing I don't like is it does not have an automatic shut off. So you have to keep an eye on it. It says in the instruction manual that the pump does have an overheating shut off system. It will not shut off the entire unit when the water runs dry, but when the pump runs dry, it will overheat because it's trying to pump. There's no water going through it. It'll sense that it's overheating, shut itself off. But then as soon as the temperature sensor built in cools down and the next time your cycle comes up, the pump will kick itself on again. So it's going to just perpetually go through this cycle of turning itself on, running dry, overheating, shutting off, and then on the next cycle it'll turn on again. And that's very quickly going to ruin this unit for you. So that's the only real downside I am seeing right now to this unit is uh, it doesn't have an automatic shut off. It would be pretty easy for them to build a float just like every humidifier, the foggers that I have already reviewed, all of those have built in floats. And as soon as the water level goes too low, the float drops down, an automatic button then is not being pressed, and without that button being pressed, the unit automatically turns off. This really needs something like that because you can very easily ruin this by just forgetting one day to fill the water and then it runs dry for the next day and it will ruin your pump, which essentially ruins the entire thing. Other than that, I don't really see any downsides. I think this is an, a fantastic unit. Um, obviously, this isn't a super big advanced unit like the Mist King systems are where you can run 40, 50 nozzles off these giant things. This one is six nozzles max, perfect for hobbyists, small geckos, uh, small collections of geckos. I absolutely love it. This is fantastic.